Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So people have asked me to do a story time forever. I get asked in my comment section, I get asked on Instagram, but I'm like, guys, my life is so boring. Like what y'all wanna hear? As you can see, I'm sitting in my office. I sat down getting ready to mask, just apply a little mask and do a little skincare, a little self-care. And um, we had a little bit of snow last night and I heard like, some snow pitter patter down the roof and fall off. And then the sound of the snow falling off the roof triggered a memory. It triggered a childhood memory that came flooding back and I thought, huh, well that's a story time I can tell. It's story time. All right, we're gonna zoom in on my face right now. My skin always looks the best in the summer, in my opinion. In the winter, I find that I really have to work at maintaining a clear and bright complexion. I think because of the dryness in the air, you know, the cold, harsh air outside, plus the increased um, central air inside. I look kind of blotchy. You can see some fine bumps on my forehead, some redness around my nose. I've got a little pimple right there coming into my eyebrow. So I wanted to detoxify and soothe my skin by doing a mask today. I am using the Timi Detox Mask, um, which I've been using for a while. You guys can probably tell by the huge divot in the product. This is my go-to clay mask because this clay mask it's made with organic matcha green tea as well as lemongrass and bentonite clay so it's designed to dry out impurities while imparting superfoods into your face whereas most clay masks i find only draw out like they give nothing back you gotta give back that's why i like this because it leaves my skin feeling super clean refreshed but smooth and supple so we're gonna get this started I used to be psychic, y'all. The year was 1984. I was just a wee tot. <laughs> it was a long time ago, y'all. I think it was 1984 or 85, but I remember being super young, so I wanna say about four years old. And Mama Daly, just like me actually, has had many jobs and careers over her lifespan. And around that time, she was actually a nanny for a family in downtown Toronto. This was one of my favorite jobs that she had because when she brought me, I got to play with the kids and I really liked them and they had this really cool older house that had like secret passageways. Like in hindsight, 100% I know the house was haunted. So my mom takes me to work as usual I'm playing with the kids. They had this huge sort of living room, playroom upstairs with like just bright, super tall ceilings and tons of toys, which I mean, come on, what kid doesn't like that? And then all of a sudden, one day, as I was sitting there playing with the children, I turned to my mom and I said, Mom, the ceiling's gonna fall. And my mom said, that's ridiculous. The ceiling's not gonna fall eyes or stop your nonsense of course I continued playing as usual like nothing had happened because nothing did the next day we returned to work I was upstairs in the bright playroom rough housing and playing around with the kids and again I paused in the middle of playing turned to my mom and I say mom the ceiling's gonna fall once again she says top and eyes and stop talk them things there eh? are nothing wrong with the ceiling so I continue playing with the kids, again, wrap up, regular evening, go home, nothing happens. So day three, we return again, playing, having a great time in the playroom. I pause, turn to my mom and say, mom, the ceiling's gonna fall. This time she looks up at the ceiling and analyzes the ceiling because at this point it's been three days in a row. Like what is this kid talking about, right? The ceiling is in immaculate condition, not a crack, not a water stain, not a paint chip, just a perfectly smooth, <laughs> regular ceiling. She points that out to me, says, look, Tony, the ceiling is perfectly fine. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. Stop talking like that and play with your toys. This went on for days and days and days. So you can imagine my mom's absolute frustration at hearing this little kid annoyingly tell her the ceiling was gonna fall every damn day when in fact, the ceiling never did fall. <laughs> I 
I eventually dropped it and just carried on my playtime as normal and weeks went by. Several weeks later on a weekday evening as normal I was playing with the kids when they got home from school. I was only in kindergarten so of course I was half days at that point. So yeah I was anxiously waiting for the kids to come home from school. Um, we started playing in the playroom as usual while my mom watched over us and I turned to my mom and I said mom the ceiling's gonna fall and she said Tony don't be ridiculous I'm gonna pause the story right there and go rinse this mask off because it's getting very very tight now it looks like it's pretty much dry a couple little bits here but yeah it's very tight so I'm gonna go rinse this off. I'll be right back. I just rinsed off the mask and toned my skin and you can already see like the glow, the redness around my nose has calmed down. I told y'all, I love this mask. My next step is actually going to be to follow up with the Superfood Moisturizer, also by Timi. It's also formulated with the organic um, matcha green tea as well as plant-based antioxidants. It's a very lightweight formula. It's like almost in between um, a cream and a gel, the consistency. A little bit goes a long way. I always put way too much of this on. <laughs> But it's a lightweight formula that my skin just drinks, as you can see. Where was I? All of a sudden, as my mom was mid-sentence in telling me to shut my behind up, wouldn't you know, the ceiling came crashing down from all angles, from all areas, all over the room. You just heard creaking and breaking and snapping and crashing dust and debris and wood planks everywhere. My mom in a panic instinctively grabbed the kids one under either arm and ran out of the room. She realized in horror <laughs> that she forgot her own damn kid. She turned around slowly, that feeling of dread creeping up on her as to what she would see when she turned around to the spot that I had been sitting. And there was little four-year-old Tony sitting in the middle of the living room, perfectly surrounded in a circle, as if sitting in a protective bubble of plywood and crown molding and drywall and wood and paint chips and dust and smoke and debris. And I was sitting in the middle of the living room, big eyes, blinking, looking at her <laughs> with not a scratch. It's as if not only was I psychic, but I had angels surrounding me. The ceiling literally fell around me. And that's my story time, you guys. That is the most interesting story I could think of from my childhood. True story. If y'all see Mama Daily in these streets, you can ask her. She will corroborate my story. And that, you guys, concludes my very first story time. I think the moral of the story is listen to your kids, y'all and don't neglect your winter skincare routine. Thanks to Timmy for sponsoring this video. Peace. Say hi Marley. Would you like to would you like to mask with me? Do you want to mask with me? Oh, we can mask like Michael Jack. So, okay. <laughs>